what's up? I'm Brian here, doing another video for you guys, and this time we're taking a look at additional images that popped up regarding the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Covert Agent Ravage. This is based on his Beast Wars appearance, and that character is a follow-up to the Generation 1 Ravage. That's actually the original character. He definitely changed the shape, but still, it was the same guy. Anyways, we've got new in-hand images regarding the toy, the main toy itself, not the cassette thing that the box set included. And it is clear that he will be able to transform. Some people speculated, including myself, that maybe it was just kind of like a shell, maybe it was going to be like a pretender gimmick, or it was just going to have the basic articulation of the Generations line, but not really have an alt mode, because Ravage transformed into the cassette, and that two-pack already had the cassette, so maybe it was like, okay, that's the robot and that's the alt mode, just as a, a nice little nod. But no, he will be able to transform into some sort of panther, and we kind of speculated on that because some of the parts were shared on Cheetor. He had the same back legs, and you can see them here. You can also see that they have the front legs. The entire front legs seem to be the same. Uh, so yeah, I do like the panther or the jaguar mode. I think it looks pretty good. I imagine that the head on this mode is going to be the same that it's going to use in the robot mode. Looks pretty good. I, I think it's pretty consistent for the most part. You can definitely see some of the robot mode um, peek out. You know, you can see the robot feet. You can definitely see the hips of the robot and then a little bit on the chest. But I think it, it, it well rounds itself enough. And I do like the fact that you could plug the guns on the side because if you look at the original Ravage, the G1 cassette transformer, he had the guns on the hips, so that might be a nod to that as well as weapon storage, so I thought that was kind of clever. Uh, taking a look at this back image, you can see, again, he does have the uh, the cheetah legs, but of course, different cat. Um, but they're positioned differently, and I actually do like that. The tail doesn't seem to pop off. Now, I could be wrong, it's just they didn't really detach it, but... I do like that it's on a hinge, and I do like that you don't need to detach it. But yes, you can see that the robot mode feet are the same, and you can also see that the lower legs are different, despite the fact that they've got a similar transformation. Anyways, moving right along, we also have the robot mode out of the package, and I love the guns, love that ridiculous head. Uh, the, uh, the shape of the chest doesn't really match a lot of the other elements, like, of course, the head, because it's the cat head, but also the, the legs just look very different from the chest, but I don't necessarily mind that, because that's definitely going for the cartoon look, and, uh, yeah, I think it looks very nice. The one complaint that I really have is that they reused the robot mode feet from Cheetor, and that means that he's going to topple over pretty easily, especially if he seems very back-heavy. So, or top heavy, I should say. So, a little concerned about that, but overall, I think it looks pretty awesome. And he actually comes with guns this time. Cheetor. Anyways, with that said, I thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And I will see you guys next time.